Hi, it's Terry from No Crumbs Left. Who doesn't love a New York strip with roasted winter vegetables? Let's go. So here's some of what goes into it. I'm gonna roast up some vegetables. I've got carrots, fennel, and red onion, which you know I love. Um, olive oil, red wine vinegar. I've got hot paprika or regular paprika, Aleppo pepper, lemon, and raw sunflower seeds. So let's go ahead and cut these in quarters. And we're gonna stick all of this together. And you might wanna do eighths if you're like, oh gosh, that's gonna be a little bit big. And we're gonna add olive oil, toss it, and let's get everything into the oven. So once these are cut, they're easier to peel. And then what I'm gonna do is put about a tablespoon up over all of this, and then just put not quite a teaspoon. And we're gonna to toss like crazy and get them into the oven. So what we're gonna do is lay these all out on a baking sheet. I like fennel. If you don't, it's fine not to include it, but it's fun to try some new things. And then as these get done, what we can do is we can just pull them out. And uh, while this is cooking, let's get the steak going so it can all be done at the same time. So it's got the easy open peel. What I like is that you can see either side of the steak, which is nice. And then when the steak comes out, it's naturally gonna have some juice. And if you want a seared steak, here's the important part, you've gotta dry it off. So dry it well before we get over to the stove. So what they recommend at Pre is to put the um, oil directly on the steak rather than the pan. And then we're gonna salt all over and pepper. And when we cook it, we're gonna do front, back, and we're also gonna do the sides like this. Here we go. What I'm gonna do is three and a half minutes each side, and then 30 seconds here and 30 seconds here. Now, you can, you can do it much more, whatever you like. I'm just showing you one possibility. And I love this grass-fed beef. No hormones, it's amazing. Okay, now what we're gonna do is flip it and look at that. By drying it off, it allowed us to get that beautiful crust. And uh, we got another three and a half minutes doing this and then we're gonna do the edges. Now what we're gonna do is flip it and just, oh, look at that on the side. Let's just get the edges for 30 seconds each and then we're gonna let it rest. And let's face it, you're putting on the exhaust, you're opening the window. It's just one of those moments. Let's turn this off and then I'm gonna get it over here and it's gonna rest for about seven minutes while we finish up the other parts. So while that's cooking, let's make a topping. Let's start with just dry roasting these nuts. I've got it on medium. You need to watch it just like every second. And when they're getting nice and roasty, we're gonna add the olive oil and the spices. I'm gonna put both of those in and then I'm gonna stir and add the olive oil and get this all together and then really we're gonna turn it off. So what I'm gonna do is pour it all out because those red spices are gonna continue to cook and I don't want them to. And then let's set aside this pan without cooling it, I mean without washing it, and we are going to use it for the next step when we're ready. So we're about halfway through and let's just kind of flip things so that we can get both sides cooked. And then let's stick it back in. What we're gonna do is take everything out. It's cooked and done. And then I'm gonna get together a lovely little sauce to show you guys. So I've got my wonderful little pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then lemon and the red wine vinegar. At this point, I don't even have it on. You don't need to have the pan on because everything's plenty hot. And um, now I'm gonna, we're ready to, let's go ahead and cut the steak. It's gonna be so yummy. And then we're gonna plate it up with um, the roasted vegetables. And there we go. Doesn't that look good? It smells good. And this is the kind of thing you can make a fantastic breakfast or lunch to go with it. When they're roasted like this, they're gonna be delicious tomorrow in a cold lunchbox. Here's a serious cherry tip. Never get rid of those juices. They're wonderful and you can save them for next time you're making a soup. Um, and I'm gonna eat this. Oh, it would be great with my horseradish sauce. Here's that creamy horseradish I was talking about. I decided to change it up a little bit and I just added a bit of basil to it. Oh, wish you were here to enjoy this with me. Love it.